What is up, guys? My name is Deputy Dog, and today um, I'm gonna try out some new things. So, um, but what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go here. I'm gonna go to Saints and Strangers on um, Matt Geo, which is National Geographic, and I really, really like the series. Um, I thought I liked it, and then I saw that they had a game for it, so I thought, why not give it a try? Uh, let's see if my computer will catch up here. Um, so, as my computer's loading, um, let me find the game here. I haven't been on here before, so I gotta find the uh, find the game here. Let me, how did I get to it yesterday? I got to it yesterday. Maybe I just I don't know. Thanks, stranger. Yeah. Um. Uh, I really don't know. Um. Uh, just give me a second here. I'll find it. As my computer is just off oh, here. Man, my computer is just killing me right now. Alright. Yeah, this. This is what it brought me to yesterday. And let me see here. Alright, my all loaded up. Alright, no. Alright. So what I saw from yesterday, there was a video that's going to play, so I'm going to let it record the video and just sit back and watch it and see what happens. Alright, so what I'm seeing so far is it's like really outlining how the game's going to go. Um, so I feel like these circles of what everything means is going to come into a factor of it. So I'm just going to let this play. But real quick, the, the, the review I had for it was um, I really, really loved it. Uh, it was only like a two-night series. It was a mini-series, I guess you could call it. But it was really, really good. I, I, I loved watching it, but let's just keep watching the video. Alright, so this just gives me <laughs> pump just to play this game. I can't, I honestly cannot wait to get into it, so let's just keep letting it roll. Alright, welcome, Pokemon. Well, no, get away. Alright. In 1620, the Pilgrims landed in, now landed in, right. Uh, now it's your turn. Can you follow the footsteps or rewrite? All right, this is this is exciting. Let's see what we can do here. Load. All right. Oh my, this is. <laughs> the Mayflower has landed miles outside the Virgin. All right, we're gonna have to turn this down. That's good right here. Whoa, other quick one. Alright, tutorial. Make impossible choices, manage your resources, keep as many souls as lives as you can. We survive. Alright, next tip. Drag your decision into the circle. Ah, oh, alright. To make your choice. Alright. 
Miles Standish. All right. Key char click on the key characters for their advice and perspectives. All right, that's cool. Low resource levels will limit your. All right, that's down here. All right, will limit your decisions. Monitor them and your population within the meter in the lower left. All right. All right. All right. Getting a getting a feel for it right now. Oh yeah. All right. The colony button in the lower right corner allows you to check on your colony and boost your resource levels. All right. Let's start it. We unite to form a civil body, political to govern here or rebel, demanding every man to be his own master. Wait. Let's let's just go through all this. The Lord, this is William Bradford, which I loved in the series. Uh, the Lord will lead us here together, yet with our differences, a covenant, whatever, would be wise to bind us to a common cause. All right. I also love this dude. We came to this land seeking liberty. Here, no one has the power to command us. Ooh, I get, I, ah, dang it. Unite. I'm gonna unite. Oh, oh you want me then? Oh. Wait, how did you? Alright. Our colony will never succeed without rank. Alright. I got you. Um. Oh. All right. Maybe. Maybe not. Man, I am stupid. <laughs> oh my God. That took me way too long to figure out. All right. The Mayflower Compact is born, and with it, a uh, foundation for your fledging colony. A cornerstone of American political history. Nice. Nice. Alright, now we're going to load some more. Oh, alright, so there's a timeline down here at the bottom. Oh my god. That went dark. Anyway, there's a timeline down here before I continue. There's a little timeline down here. This shrank down. I don't know why it's spazzing out. Can I move it? No, I cannot. Alright. Honest Thieves, November 1960. Desperate for rations, you venture ashore and find native villages empty of living, overrun with dead, in a brutal sight. You discover a la large stash of coin. Well, take that shit, bro. Alright, we'll, we'll start with John Billington, who's a jackass in the series. John is neither the time. No, oh, wait. Now is neither the time nor the place for moralizing. This corner is a godsend. Others. May starve if they wish. I have a family to think of. So he's the family guy. Alright. Miles Standish. We've encountered savages here already. Though they fled at the sight of us. Pussies. Uh, they may return while we steal this corn. But we may well starve if we leave it. True. 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 So what I'm going to do. Is instead of just getting the one dude's input. I'm going to go around. Get everybody's input. Alright. This corner is no gift. It is a test. If we take it, we will be judged not only by the Lord, but the savages we are stealing from. Ooh, good point, Edward. Good point. Um, your faith is critically low. Visit your colony to improve it. Alright. Man, this is going to be a stressful game already. Alright, so what? Take it. Wait, what? Alright, you're calling. Alright, so I had to do this first. I was skipping ahead too much. Alright. Uh, select a quest to help improve your resource levels. The more guests you do throughout... The more quests you do throughout the game, the better your colony's chances of survival. Oh my god, it's already snowing. <sighs> Jesus Christ. Well-being quest, faith quest. Fuck faith for right now. I'm sorry. Fuck faith. Ration food. With one approaching, you know you need to ensure you have enough supplies to see you through. Exactly. Continue. Alright. Ration food. 
Sacrifice well-being to gain much needed supplies by putting off. Oh, God damn it. I just gonna keep yeah. Fuck that. Alright. But we're low on supplies. Supplies. One more bean. Oh my god. This is gonna be extremely stressful already. Make the trade. Go for it. You've weakened colonies well being, but you'll have more supplies to show for it. Alright. Manager calling your venture onward. Manager call man, this when they said life or death situations, they freaking meant it. Like Like I'm afraid of what will happen, honestly. There's some women running around, alright. Story. Alright, when to take this. Resources are too low. God. Alright. My colony. Resource well well being quest. Alright, impale the colony. The pilgrims fortified their settlement by impaling the colony, building a ten foot wall of wooden pails. Man, this came like way into the series. This came in last night's episode. So I don't they're skipping ahead like hardcore. Like I don't know what's going on. Alright. Alright. Swipe along the trucks of the trunks of the trees to create pails for the what? Oh, like right there. Alright. Maybe a fucking orb. Oh, wait. Oh, shit. Do we need this fucking orb? Alright, close. Fuck it. Close. She creep pails. Fuck's sake. Venture onward. Alright. We gotta take it. Faith quest. Bro, let me click one. Faith quest. The pilgrims did not actively try to con convert the natives, but they did try to teach them about Christianity when the opportunity arose. Alright, teach your faith. Why not? Alright, you're visiting a local Shakim or, or whatever, and during dinner, the subject of faith rises. Do you teach them about the Word of God? Shit. I'm a gambling man. I'll probably die anyway. Was interested in your lesson, though he seemed to do, though he scorned the seventh commandment. The fuck's the seventh commandment? Hell, I don't know. All right. Do we have enough to take this shit? We have enough to take this shit. What? What? Hell no. Minus 20 points, minus 20 points. Hell no. Fuck no. You make it back to the ship with the much needed supplies, but you are watched regardless of your added ration next month. See many dies as one shuts. Oh, motherfucker. <sighs> the visit. Masuta and Squanto. Alright, so you guys better not, like, rely on me to pronounce these fucking names. Alright, spring arrives, and with it, some visitors, wh wham a panga, oh my god, from the, <sighs> son of a bitch, a dawning presence <laughs> with a peaceful mission, there's Shaquem, I'm pretty sure, or Shaheim, Shaheim, Hitler, hell, I don't know, must, so, must, fuck, wishes to form an alliance, as part of your agreement, you now have a transfer to Leaving in the colony to help you and perhaps to help someone else. Alright, what about him? The fuck about him? 
and I for near oh shit your first summer seems to be uneventful until one day your son disappears uh-uh nigga uh-uh this ain't flying bro the very tribe from whom you stole the corn all right we'll just go and fuck him up even more all right on your rescue mission you are surrounded by fifth do you run or negotiate We have to negotiate, don't we? We're being forced to negotiate. Never mind. All right. The boys return. An uneasy peace is established between you and the Nasak. The noose. Uh, the, uh, all right, whatever. All is forgiven but not forgotten. All right. We got to watch this stuff. Winter. Winter has arrived. Peace of provocation. All right, winter 1621. You have established yourself in Plymouth, but so has Song Squanto. He receives gifts from other tribes and meets with them on matters he does not reveal to you. Oh, what a dick! Do you question him about his behavior or stay silent, lest you provoke him into twisting your words to other tribes? Question him, stay silent. All right, we gotta go back to our colony because we are dying, like we are full and dying here. Like, I only have 53 people left. Alright, not, not a soup is a traditional wampa. Alright, dish made by <laughs> combining dry corns, berries, and nuts. Ew. Alright, until it thickens. Continue. Alright, what about? Not this shit. Nigga, I'm doing it. Oh, that counted as a swipe. I get it. This is going to take forever. Make the soup. You successfully learned to make not soup. Uh, wait, wait, that meant food, right? Yeah, that meant food. All right. Added some welcome variety to your family's diet. All right. Manage your colony. Squazzle low. Visit your colony to improve. I'm fucking here. Here you can complete quests to replenish your resources throughout your journey. Click a resource icon to collect a quest. Alright. Well being quest. Alright. The pilgrims use various. Oh my god, I can't read for shit. Herbs and plants to make pills, potions, and ton tonics to heal the ill. God damn it. Oh, for fuck's sake. This just look. This looks like weed. This for real looks like weed. Oh, we almost got her. Plus 15. All right, fuck yeah. Well, our supplies are low as shit. Go back to the story. Alright, do you question them? Stay silent. Question that. Mm. We have not heard the input from these guys. Bradford is too fond of Squanto. Whether he sees it or not, I sense my mis mischief brewing. Alright, so this dude got too close to Squanto. Another butt buddies. Squanto is not just my friend, he's a gift from God sent to us guide through uh, this unknown place. Click on him. I'm a, a manuk or whatever. I have seen Squanto in secret meetings with other tribes. He is not trusted, uh, nor should any trust him here in Plymouth. Shit. Ooh. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I for real don't know what to do. Oh my god. Oh. Alright, this is how this video is going to end. It's going to end on a cliffhanger. I don't know what to do. I'm going to need some feedback from you guys. i got 10 seconds left. Alright, well, anyways, thank you all for watching. This is Saints and Strangers, the game. You can find it at Nat Geo. Uh, Saints and Strangers. Just www.saints and Strangers.
fuck. Saintsandstrangers.com. Um, and then you just go to the game, and it, it's a really fun game. I'll be bringing you more gameplay of it. You just go from, I mean, you just go from winner to whatever. Right now, we're, uh, we're talking about should we question Squanto or not. And our supplies are extremely low in the village. Um, we got to visit the village to improve it. And uh, click a resource, select a quest. Alright, so the only thing we have right now is Faith Quest. But anyway, uh, well, thank you all for watching this right now. I really hope you guys either watch this on TV or watch bits and pieces, bit, fuck, bits and pieces of it. And then uh, decide to play this because... It's it's really interesting. I like it. Um, I'll be I'll definitely be playing more of it. Uh, name. I had said I had ten seconds left, and I just wasted a minute fucking blabbering. Uh, all right, let's waste some more time blabbering. Uh, I really like the. I really like the the TV mini series. I'd probably give it like a twelve out of ten. It was fucking amazing. Anybody that watched it can say that, unless you're like a hardcore historian, which I love history, this is why I'm playing this. Like, if you're like a hardcore historian, I don't know if like it'd be so accurate to your taste, but anyway, oh shit. Uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, that's, that's about it. Um, I mean, check this out, www.saintsofstrangers.com. Anyway, for right now, there will be, there will be more parts to this series. But for right now, that's just going to be all of it. Um, there's just that's just going to be all of it for us. But thank you all for watching. This is Deputy Dog signing off.